Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to kind of go over what we did for fat biking. Well, we tried to go out in fat bike. Uh, it was myself and my wife Jamie. Uh, this was her first time trying to go out and ride in the snow. <laughs> and then uh, we had our son Raphael with us. Hey Rafi, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi guys. And so all three of us went out very excited to hit uh, Elm Creek single track. Um, because I don't know if you're aware, but Minnesota hasn't had snow in quite a while. This uh, I think it was just right before Christmas that we had any snowfall. So having this white stuff on the ground <laughs> was very exciting for us to go out and have our first fat bike ride. Anyway, um, it seemed like a lot of people had ridden it, but uh, there were a lot of ruts and uh, the snow hadn't settled in much. So it was obviously very difficult for my wife, who's a first time uh, snow rider, but you can see the footage of me trying to uh, get through this as well, and it was almost impossible. And so we didn't even go much into the trail system and just turn back. And additionally, Rafi, you had some issues with your uh, hand as well, right? You want to explain yeah, what happened? Like, so I was going up, I could barely even get up the first hill in the start because it's like my th my fingers were like getting numb so I couldn't feel them and it really hurt. And that's kind of my fault too because I thought uh, he would be okay with like 30 degree um, weather gloves. However, we were at about 25. So what we decided to do instead was instead of doing the single tracks, we would just take the side trail um, that goes along the single track trails in um, Elm Creek. And that's what we did. So it was really cool for Jamie to uh, get some experience riding in the snow. Uh, and she thought it, it went pretty well. Um, Rafi, how how did you find that ride that we did? I felt it pretty fun. And I kind of had to make fists in my gloves. So, oh, not my gloves, though, my mom's, because she let me borrow it. Yeah, so Rafi, the gloves that I had brought for Rafi were... Um, were too cold for him so so that's one thing so if you if you guys are going to go out and uh, do some winter riding with your kids and you haven't done that before um definitely invest in a more warmer um pair of gloves the 45 norths uh, are pretty decent and also think about hand warmers um or, or foot warmers i know my wife she's decided that she's going to take uh, foot warmers with her next time even though she has like a pretty nice and warm um, um, pair of boots that she's wearing. I have one of those 45 North uh, boots um, and those are awesome. I And I have pretty good circulation. So like you can see here, I lent my wife my gloves and I'm, and I'm basically bare hands over here. And uh, we were on this ride outdoors for about 20 to 30 minutes. And towards the end of it, I got, I started getting really cold and you'll see me kind of, you know, rubbing my hands together and then blowing into them in a little bit. But for most of it, you know, I mean, I was fine. Um, but, you know, riding with uh, family and uh, new, um, like folks that might be new to winter riding, definitely invest in some warm clothing. How about, how about your layers? So we, we had you just on a, that's kind of like a windbreaker, right? And you had a, a thermal underneath that. And a, and a just a regular cycling jersey, right? Mm -hmm. Was that warm enough for you? Did you think that once you started pedaling, or would you have liked another layer? Um, it was good. Yeah, it was good how it was. It was good. How about your feet? Um, my feet got a little bit cold. So, I would get some toe warmers. So, toe warmers for the kid too, definitely. Um, I was totally fine. I thought, you know, I felt a little chilly because. Um, I had one base layer and then just a, you know, just a light thermal jacket. Um, but usually that's, that's what I ride, even when it's uh, lower temperatures than this. And because you're going faster and working out more, I tend to get really hot. So, um, I'm happy with that. And you can see me like turning around here once in a while. That was me trying to skid and my wife telling me not to. And oh, there we go. I just warmed my hands because... It started to get cold at that point. Um, my wife was saying, "Hey, don't, don't, don't skid in front of the kid. He's gonna start doing it too." Did you do that? Yeah. 
You I did? already did before you did. Oh, you did before I did. Okay. Well, maybe I, uh, you were the bad influence here. Anyway, it, it, it was still very fun to go out and ride. And any other recommendations, Rafi, you would make for other kids that go out um, and ride single track in the snow from, from what you remember last year? Um, I would bring, like, hand... Wait, last year? Remember, you remember last year we went out and rode the actual oh, yeah. single tracks? Yeah, I would request, like, hand warmers and some okay. toe warmers. Toe warmers, and then a bike, too. So, uh, Rafi had, uh, I think, a steel bike in the past that was, you know, that was very heavy, and it was fine for riding, like, this kind of trail, but if you go on single tracks, he wasn't able to maneuver it, and once he got that fat boy, it was a lot easier. So that's one thing to consider to just you know getting a decent bike for your child too, if 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 they are going to be riding with you. Um, well, this is the end of the video here. Um, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you like our page and hope this was informative. If you have any questions, uh, just let us know in the comments. Uh, talk to you soon. Thank Bye. you again. Bye, everyone. Bye.